So an undead psychopath and a robotic cop walk into a bar. But who's leaving? Hey guys, nothing important here. Uh, I'm back with you today for a versus battle between Robocop and Jason. So I was thinking to myself, wait, what can I do as like a Christmas present since I was gone? And then I was like, oh, I could just do a versus battle between Jason and Robocop. I've been wanting to do that for a while. I had the scans, I did the videos and everything. So of course, if you want to know more about them specifically, I can just link a video below. But anyway, so how we'll be handling the videos that We'll be handling their main statistics, you know, their attack potency, durability, and then after that, move on to speed, move on to, you know, the arsenals, hacks, intelligence, etc., etc., and then as we go through the characters, uh, we'll then make comparisons, and then going off of that, we'll see who wins. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on with the first character, Robocop. So starting off with Robocop, he's a fairly blatant character with his scaling. With his low end usually being mid wall, as that's where he's usually at when he holds back. And then you have wall plus to small building. There's like some contention on where his mid end is at between wall plus to small building. I'm personally fine with either or, depending on how you calc out a few of his higher end feats. And then there's the gas line explosion from 2, I'm not too sure on that one yet, so for now, I'll either consider it as an ambiguous feat, or just a building feat high end if you can calc it to be that high. So I'll probably change my mind on that in the future once I figure out how to calc that feat. But other than that, I, I usually stick with the wall to like small building, as I feel that's the safest area for Robocop. Uh, a lot of his casual feats are are like his mid-wall feats. Some of his more non-holding back feats is him fighting Robo Kane, him moving the limb of the ED-209 to make it shoot itself, and then there's the truck thing from 2, although that was also a casual feat, as Robocop wasn't really affected at all by it, seeing how he was just driven and grinded down the wall, and then, you know, driven through a building, and then even then, they didn't do anything to him at all. So we, that was definitely a casual feat. The fall, if you believe he's around 400 pounds or less, then you get a mix-up between wall to, like, wall plus, depending on where you get the number at. So that one you might have some contention with. I've personally been fine with anywhere between 340 pounds to 400 pounds if you want like a mass value for a book up. Uh, other than that, his other feet should be in scale with like mid wall being casual and with a couple feats being wall plus or just him not holding back anymore and having even higher end wall plus feats. Uh, plus small building as possible for a book hub. So overall, I'd say massively into, or at least moderately into wall plus would be where I'd get Robocop. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to Jason. So starting off with the ever popular Jason Voorhees from the 2003 film, Freddy vs. Jason, it is quickly made very apparent that he is an unstoppable killing machine, uncaring of who or what he killed. So at the start of the movie, Jason is quickly given a feat in hell, which you can consider this to be a feat, or maybe not, this is just to show you an introduction to Jason and how different he is now, was that he shoved a machete through a tree and killed a bitch. And it may, while it could have been an illusion, uh, there are other feats that also back him up being much different than before. Like him Sparta kicking a door and killing a poor security guard, or him punching a door multiple times to the point that it fell off the hinges. And by the way, these are both steel doors, so pretty good feat. These two feats here are around 
wall to possibly wall plus, depending on your interpretation of steel door feats. I'd have to be convinced that that'd be wall plus though, so I'd stick with mid wall for now. Another feat that I'd be fine with saying is contentious would be the cornfield feat. That's merely because you'd have to establish wall level off the common calc fire feat, but that depends on like what type of fire it is, or like, you know, like the usual arguments you get for common calc type feats. And then of course there's also the boiler calc feat, where late in the movie he decides to stop holding back on Freddy Krueger, and then he basically kicks them far away against some other part in the boiler room and then shoves this massive boiler off of them, right? Uh, some people argue it to be a small building. However, I think it's a lot safer to put that feet at around wall plus, as that's usually the safest end for it, because that would also support it being a mid-end. It wouldn't be too far larger above the feats that he has now, and so it basically just make more sense for it to be wall plus, is what I'm trying to say. So, um, other than that, there's not really much else to mention, other than just Freddy Krueger throughout the film wasn't really physical with Jason and actually had to like wear him down and like weaken him in non-direct ways, and uh, it's also made apparent that Freddy actually does not scale to Jason, supporting the fact that his hacks is different from his scaling because they're his real world end doesn't change from his dream world end. So that's really about it for Jason, so let's go ahead and move on to the other statistics. So on a physical level, both Jason and Robocop are very formidable, with both of them having both wall and wall plus feats. So this does make them very powerful for their tiers. However, what about their other statistics? Well, let's take a look at that. So first and foremost, speed. They have similar combative speeds, so they will be fighting at roughly equal speeds. However, Robocop has a massively faster reaction speed than Jason being able to bullet time on the reaction. Maybe even just have superhuman reactions if you don't think he can bullet time. But regardless, he has massively superior reactions to Jason, so that is worth keeping in mind and that is a reason why Robocop might win the fight. In terms of skill, this is far less important, as they are similar enough in skill with Robocop barely having the edge due to his police training and with Jason really just having experience and gaining the ability to efficiently kill silently over time. So skill isn't really much of a deciding factor, but it is worth keeping in mind Robocop does have superior skill. In terms of hacks, Jason wins by a massive shot. Jason has an undead immortality a regeneration immortality, and possible revival immortality if you believe he can revive on his own, however that hasn't been shown in the movies so we won't be using the revival immortality. But regardless he still does have some form of invulnerability due to the fact that he is undead and that he has a slight regen factor, so a couple of things in Robocop's arsenal might not even work on Jason. Especially because Jason does have a resistance to fire and normal bullets from something like an Auto-9 might not work on Jason. It would take a very long time for the Auto-9 or the Flamethrower to possibly affect or kill Jason as he just has the hacks to keep up with that. However, in terms of Arsenal, Jason massively loses to Robocop because he has a machete and an axe, where say Robocop has a terminal strip, an Auto-9, a Cobra Assault Cannon, and then of course he also has his jetpack and then he has, also has that weapon arm. So, Robocop is superior superior with an arsenal and does have a valid win con with either the Cobra Assault Cannon or the Smart Knight. However, Robocop also does have superior intelligence and he also does have invulnerability. Better invulnerability than Jason actually. Uh, this is proven in Robocop 1 where he just resists bullets to the face inside of a drug factory and Robocop also does resist fire in M3 whenever a Molotov cocktail was thrown on him and it was promptly lit, lit and fired, so. Uh, Robocop also does have a resistance against fire. So, uh, comparing the two characters, Robocop has better statistics in the form of slight skill advantage, he has better speeds, he has a better arsenal, however he loses out in hacks. Jason has an advantage in hacks, however loses the fight 
in terms of physicality because he has weaker feats on a physical level and also has lower end speeds. So Jason could beat Robo Robocop over time if he tries to try to ambush Robocop in a jungle or something. However, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, Jason loses. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to who I think would win the fight. So overall, these two forces of nature have very different toolkits they bring to their fights to hopefully give them the win. The problem is, is that Jason, in his main statistics, loses to Robocop. Robocop has better feats along the lines of the gas line feat, the truck feat, and possibly falling off the building, but depends on how you give Robocop his mass, whether or not you think he's 340 to 400 pounds, etc, etc. That one would be left up to speculation. However, the gas line feet, along with the truck feet, should still give Robocop an advantage over Jason. On top of that, Robocop has faster reactions, giving Robocop ample time to react to Jason before he can really attack, be it long range or close range. This means that in the close range, while Jason's hypnotism and possession might work, in the long range it will not because it doesn't have the range. So that means that while up close, if Robocop were to kill Jason, the hypnotism may work. The problem is, it doesn't have enough range to work against Robocop's long range options. So while Robocop could kill Jason, the hypnotism and the possession could allow Jason to come back, possibly, if Robocop can get possessed, assuming it gets around Robocop Prime Directives, etc, etc, right? That one would be for more debatability, however, I wouldn't be talking about that as much as a central point, although that is an interesting point to bring up when we compare the two. So overall, I would give this fight to Robocop. Uh, the problem is his, his main statistics are way too high, and he has too many advantages for Jason to really keep up. Along with that, Jason does really have enough compared to Robocop, who has a lot. Like, he has a weapon arm, he has an auto 9, he has a Cobra Assault Cannon, and even a jetpack. However, let's not factor in the jetpack because it's bullshit. Robocop still skilled enough marksman, along with very fast and intense reactions, should be able to kill Jason with a few smart bombs or a few Cobra Assault Cannon shots. Uh, I, I guess another thing to mention that we talked about earlier is that Robocop and Jason actually has somewhat relative skill. Jason's killed for a very long time and became an efficient killer, that's shown against Freddy Krueger, and Robocop has superior police training, along with being able to have access to the criminal database as Robocop, and having auto-aiming hacks, etc, etc. So Robocop does have the slight advantage when it comes to skill, although I wouldn't give Robocop the win based off skill. So I don't really have much else to really mention, it just, the, the problem with Jason is that he doesn't have enough and Robocop just has too much. So, anyway, uh, that's really it for the video. If you guys like the video, please like, share, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Come join the Discord if you want. I have several good friends in there, like my friend Godzilla, Carnifex, Cool Geek, Corn O'Keefe, even my friend Thunder God, who I've had a conversation with the other night about power scaling in general. Uh, we, there's a lot of fun guys in the Discord, so just come by the Discord if you want. It'd be really cool. Also, I, I do live streams and stuff in there, and then also I, do, I upload content and then I talk to people who have questions, so it just, it'd be awesome if you were to join the Discord server. We don't have a lot of people in there. So anyway, that's it for the video. Uh, tell me what you think below. If you want to come to my Discord and maybe talk to me about what you think about the fight, then that's fine too. If you disagree and you have a separate opinion you want to leave as a comment, that's also okay. Anyway. My name is Nothing Important here. I hope you guys liked, shared, and subscribed if you're new. And, I'm, and I will see y'all next year. Ciao.